So hey, Monday morning here at Night Equipment, we got a lot going on. We've got service jobs coming in, we've got four or five trailers going out, we've got trades coming in, we've got, got uh, our Maxwell putting uh, trailers together from a trailer load coming in from PJ Trailers this morning. And we got our little uh, helper here, Riri, the cat, coming out to help us too, so that's perfect. So I just wanted to run through real quick uh, this PJ H5 10 inch Pro Beam equipment trailer. Um, this thing is a beast and we have it equipped even better. So um, the main thing about the PJ H5 model is it's got two things, the 10 inch I-beam mainframe that goes the full length of the trailer, 10 inch I-beam mainframe. And then you've got the two 20,000 pound axles, Dexter axles. So the, the uh, empty weight on this trailer is 6260 approximately. And with the 20,000 pound axles and the 12% transferred onto the tow vehicle, you have about 16,000 pounds of payload capacity properly loaded. So uh, that's actually, you know, you could get a couple smaller skids, a couple medium sized skid steers on here and be within the payload capacity. You could get some long equipment with booms on here, um, but you have to fit in between the fenders. The H5 is a is a uh, 82 inches in between the fenders on here. Does come standard with rub rail and stake pockets, but you got 82 inches in between the fenders. 82 and a half, excuse me. So um, 82 and a half here. So let's go back to the front here, and then we're gonna show we're gonna show the options front to back real quick. So this comes either with a face mount pintle set up or a 25,000 pound uh, heavy duty adjustable coupler, okay? We, we always uh, add the uh, cold weather wire harness, which was an option for PJ, but now it is, uh, now it's standard. Uh, this, this is silicone wrap so that you can stay flexible when it's freezing outside. Otherwise you got that old style black uh, wire harness that really stiffens up and it's unmanageable. We've got the lockable toolbox on, on this trailer here with, with the chain tray and the tongue so you can, Put a pretty few change back here. We have the uh, spare tire mount. And then one thing really kind of special that we have on this one is the uh, heavy duty semi-style Jost jacks, okay? It's a long trailer rated for 20,000 20, pounds and the Jost jacks just seem to do the job a little bit better than those 10,000 pound Bulldog jacks. And as you can see here, this 10 inch I-beam runs the full length of the trailer. And then it's gusseted down here on the outside where the I-beam, outside of the I-beam. You can see the gussets every uh, probably 24 inches there. And then this comes standard with stake pockets and rub rail. And then the two 20,000, two 10,000 pound axles, oil bath axles, Dexters, they come standard with 18 ply tires, the 17.5, 18 ply tires and wheels. And then we have this one equipped. There's multiple tail configurations you can get, but we have this one equipped with a three and a half foot dovetail and the monster ramp. So you can run these monster ramps up if you have something hanging back here, or you can run them down, but you have to pull your machine forward and then back it up if you want them to run down. You can haul back here. You can haul back here if you need to, to adjust your tail, adjust your tongue weight. If you need to pull the machine back a little bit, you can haul back here on top of these. Okay. Again, these are standard as, as most PJ models are with all LED lights with a lifetime warranty on those LED lights. And uh, just a real heavy duty, very stiff equipment trailer that two 10,000 pound axles, a 10 inch I-beam. This is 82 by 28 feet, this particular trailer is. And uh, again, we have it equipped nicely. And again, this is the PJ model H5. Yeah, so let's go over here and compare the uh, 10 inch I-beam to the similarly rated uh, C8 model, which is a, an eight inch channel. This is similarly rated, meaning you've got three 7,000 pound axles. This is rated for 21,000. This happens to be a tilt, but this is an eight inch, I -beam, eight inch channel frame trailer versus that 10 inch I-beam. So as you can see, the H5 model is very uh, highly superior to the uh, C8 or the eight inch channel frame trailer. Okay. All right, so Jared's coming over with the skid loader. Uh, test load this thing. Again, we have the monster ramps, the flip over monster ramps. 
They are the, the quickest and easiest way and safest way to load a skid loader. You got the super wide here. Uh, you got about six inches in between the ramp, so there's not a lot to miss there. Jared's gonna load this for us and uh, see him going on there. We go backwards this time. Beautiful. Yep. Thanks, Jer. PJ H7 H5 equipment trailer.